Oh, hey, hi. I'm Chris. Hey, Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do right at home. I'm just checking out this comment and going over today's science file. And today's science file, it says... How do you make your own comet? Well, that's an awesome question. Try this. You will need a pot, a plastic bag, some water, some dirt, some sand, some window cleaner, dry ice, and most importantly, a pair of working gloves. Start by taping two balloons to a tea tube. <laughs> no, wait. We already did that. Start by getting yourself a pot and then line the pot with a plastic bag. Pour your water, pour your dirt, pour your sand, pour your window cleaner. Now, get yourself a pair of these working gloves. Make sure you have a pair of these working gloves. Why? Because you can't touch this. Oh, 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 oh! Now add some dry ice and then mold this into a ball. And voila, you got your very own model comet. Now check this out. We made our very own comet. Very own comet right here, right in our own home. We made a comet right here, right in our own home. That is so wicked cool. So, well, why exactly is a comet? And... How do we know what are in comets? Well, don't look at me. Take a closer look at this. A comet is an icy chunk of rock or debris that orbits around the sun. These dirty snowballs formed about 4.6 billion years ago when gases and liquids froze around rocks and debris chunks due to their vast distance from the sun. Comets can be anywhere between a couple of kilometers in diameter to thousands of kilometers in diameter. A comet that takes 200 plus years to orbit. Start out near the Oort cloud, a place where the sun's gravity no longer affects interstellar objects. A comet that takes 200 years or less starts its journey out near the Kuiper Belt, an icy debris field just beyond Neptune. Some comets can take tens of thousands of years to make one complete orbit around the sun. As comets approach the sun, the sun's hot solar wind begins to sublimate the frozen gases or evaporate the frozen liquids. This causes a hazy tail to appear known as the ion tail. This tail is not always behind the comet, but instead the tail always points away from the sun. These ion tails can be so long that they exceed the diameter of Jupiter. Some of the debris that gets released from the sublimation of gases and evaporation of liquids forms a second tail called the dust tail. Some comets, such as Comet Hale-Bob, form a third tail known as the sodium ion tail. Astronomers found that comets are made up of a rocky or debris-filled center covered with frozen liquid or frozen gases, such as hydrogen, carbon, oxygen, nitrogen, methane, as well as ammonia, which is found in window cleaner. So now you know more about comets. You know, making your own comet right at home is why science is so cool.